He just barely dropped a brand new song. It's only a couple weeks old. Story of an Addict. Without any further ado, give it up for my man, Joe Nestor! See my sorrow, broken halos, golden wings that used to fly. Welcome to Recovering Attic, a channel dedicated to relapse prevention. We are here to help you if this is your first day clean to stay clean and to prevent relapse by building better, healthier habits. Today we are at a SJS fundraiser, downtown Ogden at the amphitheater. We got bands, we got comedy, we got a farmer's market, we got beautiful weather. This is Utah. If you've never been to Utah, don't come. This is our town. This is ours. And we love it here. <laughs> Just kidding. We got recovery resources. We got good fun. Clean, good, good, clean fun. Hope I see you here. Person in long term recovery, you saw her. Just so you know. <laughs> so I went and bought me some uh, fancy pants just for this, right? I, I'm trying to rock them, right? Anyway, I just want to tell you guys a little bit. I'm just grateful to be here, right? I work for you, Sara. I'm still trying to figure out how we're supposed to call each other, what we're supposed to say. I'm an addict, an alcoholic, I'm a substance abuse disorder. Person. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means, but <laughs> SJS helped me. They got me funding to go through Valley Camp, and I was able to get clean and sober that way. And that was great. <laughs> Going on five years, or I guess I just got five years. <laughs> Hey, Scotty. Oh, he's kissing me. He's kissing me. Anyway, so about a few years ago, I went and got a job at Weber Human Services, right? And they're over there. They're doing their little booth thing, right? And uh, when I got sober, they said I would never uh, have a hangover again. That's not necessarily true, right? I mean, got a hangover. That ain't over for the last five years. <laughs> Can't seem to get rid of it. Right? So, when I got to We Were Human Services, we do that. Anybody here know what an eye cup is? Yeah! Eye cup, yeah. An eye cup is I C U P, right? <laughs> so, that means it's a very uncomfortable moment when you have to give somebody an eye cup because. You're trying not to look in their eye, you're trying to look around. <laughs> and, you know, it's trying to, you know, it's time to do an eye cup. But, I got to thinking what a miserable thing it would be if I had to do an eye cup with a hangover. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. <laughs> how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> also, Working there, I get to work at Stepping Stones. And any Stepping Stones guys here? Yeah, brother! Yeah, I love those guys. They all get to step on each other's toes, they all get to step on each other's stuff, they all get all pissed off, and they lock themselves in their room. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> A couple of guys think I'm chasing them around the park, but I'm not. <laughs> That's okay. Also, I get to work again, I said Usara, right? Usara, I get to be a peer coach, right? So we get to sit around, talk about goals, talk about things to do for their life, do the things that they want to do, see what we can do to help them. I love my job. I love what I get to do. But at the same time, 
Like I said before, none of us know what to call each other. <laughs> right? It's supposed to be a person in long-term recovery. But I know I'm an alcoholic, I'm an addict, in recovery, doing the best that I can. But as we got recovering addict over here, right? A recovering addict. You know we're supposed to change the name to recovering SUD, right? <laughs> Substance use disorder. We're not supposed to call each other addicts. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> But I'm an addict. <laughs> um, also, I recently got to be on the board of directors of Valley Camp. Yeah! Yeah! So it's really cool when somebody calls me and they're like, uh, I, got a, I got a board meeting I got to go to. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to a board meeting. Valley Camp saved my life. And so I'll shout out to Valley Camp. Yeah! I just want to share a story real quick. I haven't slept last night. I was able to be the guy that they call when they're in trouble. I get to be that guy. So, so I have someone that I love very, very much call me, tell me I got to go bell her out of jail. And uh, I got to be there all night. I get to be there and be that part. I get to share my life with other people that are struggling. And I get to do that on an everyday basis. So, you guys like my pants? Yeah. <laughs> like my shoes? Yeah. <laughs> like my hat? <laughs> oh yeah, like that, right? So, so doing that, I get to be a part of it when we, when we fight back, right? When we stand a little taller, hold up our head a little higher, and be that guy that now has a job long enough to sign for somebody to get out of jail, or have money in my bank account, to be there for the people I love, and be able to help them. You know, I walked these streets of Ogden for most of my life as a addict to meth, drink alcohol. I just, I love this town. Anybody that's been helped by Chantel and SJS, I'd like you to get up here if you could. Chantel, we all want to share our gratitude to you. How much we love you. Thank you for what you've done for me, when you helped me stay in camp. Thank you for what you've done for all of us. Dano, my, one of my best oldest friends, you were one of the first, and here he is today, working at Weaver Human Services. We got you some boxing gloves. Stormy made these for you, to everybody, a lot of people that... We got you a... Road thing with, with your name on it. Okay. We got you a from Laquita. A haircut and style thing from her salon. Okay. And the thing with these roads is to tell you thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for showing your unconditional love, kindness, patience, tolerance for all of us that's been helped by you. Thank you.
climbing this. Last workout of the night, burning up our energy. Everything we experienced today was mental energy, not physical. No excuses to get out and get physical. When I was a resiliency teacher in the Air Force, I would always teach people that if you sit at a desk all day, you're straining your eyes and your mind. When you get home, no digital stuff. Go work out, your body needs the opposite of that. Just balance. If you're a mechanic, your job is physical labor. That's what you do all day. You need to go home, sit on the couch and read a book. Engage the mind, keep that balance. Today was all mental energy. Tonight we have plenty of physical energy to expend. And that's why we climbed the behemoth. Whew, what a night. Long day, great event. Covering Addict is growing. People are starting to hear and we're being recognized. What a blessing. People ask me, how you doing? Better than I deserve. That's my question, that's my answer to that. Every time. Because if we want fair, calculate every crime you've ever committed. And that's what you're guilty of. And then if you get punished for it. Now think of everything you've gotten away with. Whew. Much better than I deserve right now. Praise God for another good day. A recovering addict growing. Thank you for being here. 75 strong. Day 55. Crushed it. Peace.